Good morning. I just wanted to take you guys for a short walk with me this morning. Give you a chance to see the bloom going on. I'm starting out here by the beehives. Um, which, because it's early morning and pretty chilly, they're not out flying. If we popped one of them open, you'd see them buzzing in there, but... Maybe... Can you see them in there? I don't know if there's enough light. They get a little excited if you bug them too much. Anyway, the nonpareil almonds, the, the first variety that blooms, is already kind of past its peak and they're starting to leaf out. And our uh, caramels are just about at their peak right now. Full bloom. Going into petal fall, you see this is the kind of our annual spring snow. But these tr trees just become prolifically white. We're expecting more rain today. Actually, we already got a little sprinkle this morning. We've been getting a fair amount of rain this spring, which is good. Overall, not so much good for the the bloom. End up getting some disease problems, but we always manage. Pretty delicate little flowers. Inside there, that little pistol. Actually, that one has two. Look at that. Those little pistols. Many of them will be growing into almonds. I have been getting a few days of nice sun at the same time, so the bees have had plenty of chance to work, get out here pollinating. Some bees pollinate the nonpareils, and some bees pollinate the, the caramels. If you saw our last video, you'll remember that tree was laying over there. Uh, what's left of it is right there. It'll help keep us warm next winter. <laughs> the rest of it's over in the brush pile waiting to get burned. So we had several. We probably lost a dozen trees to the windstorm. <clears throat> I think it was January. I forget exactly when that came through. Winter time sort of becomes a blur. But the fragrance out here in the orchard right at this time of year is so delightful. It's just, it's mild, refreshing. I wish I could somehow share it with you guys. Kinda wish this time of year could last a little longer. Always goes too quickly. But with the delicate nature of these little flowers, I suppose it's better that way. There was another one we had lost. That was a smaller nonpareil that tipped over. We have lots of old trees that are starting to kind of tip. And that's what you get. This orchard's about 20, I ought to know this off the top of my head, 24 years old now. 24th leaf, we'd call that. 24th or 25th. Anyway. That's what happens. They get shaker damage. This one's really bad. Not sure what the guys did to these trees before I bought the orchard, but some of them got some pretty have some pretty bad shaker damage, and we've installed a little bit ourselves actually. Some of them getting diseases in the roots and crown gall, and it's just part of what happens. A few younger ones mixed in here and there, but. Eventually, we'll pull them out. We planned on pulling a bunch of them out this last winter, but we just ended up not getting it done. So we're going to use those trees, experiment a little bit, and see if we can manage to 
see if we can manage to grow them 100% organic. We've never grown our orchard with conventional methods. We've used the uh, integrated pest management, which really allows you to get almost away from, from chemical usage completely. It's, it's really a, a huge improvement from old conventional farming. But it's just kind of a real balanced approach using nature's nature's best natural enemies against pests and working with the orchard instead of against it. But I hope you guys can hear the birds tweeting in this video. It's just a pleasant morning to be out for a walk. One of the best times of day. This tree's about to go over. Hard to see that. Another one with shaker damage. The shakers damage those trunks. The it seems to kind of I don't know exactly what happens physiologically to them, but I'm not sure if diseases just get under the bark because of it and then end up, somehow it ends up seeming to affect the roots. Um, like the roots die, I guess the, if there's a disease that get, gets in there and kills them or what, but the roots sort of start to rot out and then they just tip over like that. So anyway, Here's uh, orchard in the morning, March, today's uh, March 2nd, so hope you enjoyed a little walk through the orchard with me.